Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an awesome quartic equation. So what if we use a shortcut here? Well, I don't like shortcuts. Well, okay, fine. Let's just go ahead and expand it then. Okay, we'll get x to the fourth plus four times x cubed times two plus six times x squared times two squared plus four times x times two to the third plus finally two to the fourth, but we have another x to the fourth. Let's go ahead and add that. Minus 82, set everything equal to zero. Okay, fine. If you want to do it that way, that's fine. Okay, so this will be 8x cubed plus six times four is 24 and four times eight is 32, fine. 16 minus 82 is going to be negative 66. Cool. This equation, everything can be divided by two. Let's simplify a little bit. Okay, fine, let's do it. All right, and then this is what we get. Okay, how does that help? Well, not much, but well, after trial and error, if you're looking for a rational solution, you'll notice that x equals one is a solution because the sum of the coefficients is zero. Okay, cool. What about that? Well, you can just go ahead and divide this by x minus one and you'll get a cubic, right? And good luck solving that. Well. This is not the best way to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and use a shortcut. All right, let's give it a try. So what are we supposed to do? Well, notice that, uh, and we've used this idea in another problem, uh, x plus two and x, what's in the middle? Or wouldn't that be nice if things kind of canceled out? As is, it, they don't, right? So we can make it happen though. How? Well, by assuming that suppose x plus one is equal to y. In other words, I'm replacing x with y minus one. Okay, fine, what about that? Let's go ahead and do it and see what happens. If x is equal to y minus one here, then I'm gonna be getting what? y plus one to the fourth power. And from the other expression, I'm gonna get y minus one to the fourth power. And the sum is gonna equal 82. Awesome, now we've got symmetry, right? Yes, symmetry is beautiful. Now. What am I going to do? Let's go ahead and expand it. This one shouldn't be hard, same as the other one, but with smaller numbers. y to the fourth plus 4y cubed plus 6y squared plus 4y plus 1. And the other one is just going to be similar, except uh, the sign is going to alternate. So let's go ahead and write them like this so we can see the cool stuff happening. All right. So it's going to be like plus, minus, plus, minus, And finally, it's going to end with a plus. And if you add these up, the answer is supposed to be 82. But notice what happens here. Something magical, something cool happens. Look at that. Check it out. These two terms cancel out and these two terms cancel out. And we end up with 2y to the fourth plus 12y squared plus 2. And the whole thing is equal to 82. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and subtract 82. This is going to give us 2y to the fourth plus 12y squared minus 80 is equal to zero. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and divide everything by two. Y to the fourth plus six Y squared minus 40 is equal to zero. This is a biquadratic equation. Yes, it's quartic, but look, there's no Y cube, there's no Y, so I can go ahead and do the usual, sub usual substitution, and I really like the U substitution, not just for integrals, right? So I'm gonna call Y squared equals U. Then U will see what happens u squared plus 6u minus 40 is equal to 0. We ended up with a quadratic, which is super easy to solve. Do you know why? Because it's factorable. Let's take check it out. Okay, I got to find two numbers whose product is negative 40 and whose sum is 6. You must know how to factor trinomials, right? If you're watching this video, hopefully you do. And if not, then you can always learn. So what are my numbers? Then my numbers are, I think, 10 and negative 4 because their sum is positive 6, right? Awesome. This means that I have u plus 10 multiplied by u minus 4 being equal to 0. And this means that u is equal to negative 10 or u is equal to 4. Awesome. But what is u? Well, u is y squared. So this means y squared is equal to negative 10. Not a very good result. Not very real, right? And y squared equals 4. This is kind of nice because I get y equals 2 and y equals negative 2, but let's not just discriminate against complex numbers, right? From here, we're going to be getting square root of 10i and the opposite of that. Okay, awesome. So we got four solutions. Obviously, it's a quartic equation, right? Come on. Okay, 
How does this help me though? Well, well, we're almost done. Come on. You can do this, right? Well, what did we say? What is the relationship between X and Y? Oh, okay. So X is equal to Y minus one. So X is one less than Y. Great. So then I can just find the X values by subtracting one from each one of these values. Then I'm going to be getting my solutions. X one is equal to root 10 I minus one, but I'm going to write it as negative 10 plus root 10 I x2 i'm going to write it as negative 10 minus root 10 as you know these need to be conjugates and then what am i going to do subtract one x3 would be one and x4 would be negative three that's it we found all the solutions thank you for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and see you in the next videos bye bye